Hello from Seoul. There are so many great noodle dishes around the world. But if you are looking for the easiest and simplest noodle dish for your weeknight dinner, this is it. The taste? Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure that 15 minutes you invest in this dish will change your life. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making yaki udon, one of the most popular Japanese dishes around the world. Normally, you get this dish from street vendors, so to get that authentic vibe, you gotta use this gigantic pan. What? You don't have this kind of stuff? Don't worry about it. We can't make that happen with a regular pan like this, so just follow my lead. For this, you will need onion, cabbage, carrot, mushrooms, green onions, garlic, ginger, udon noodles, pork belly, and some bani sugar. What? You can't get this pickled ginger? That's okay. It's totally optional. But if you have some time to hunt, it'll be so worth it because this beautiful thing will send you to Japan. Alright, let's start off with our vegetables. First, slice half an onion. If it's too thin, it will go mushy when you stir fry it. So make sure it's not too thin, not too thick. Next, cabbage. Grab two or three cabbage leaves and cut them into big bite-sized pieces. Once you've done that, take 30 grams of carrot and cut it into little matchsticks. If it's too thick or chunky, while waiting the carrot to cook, all the other veggies are likely to go mushy and they will be like a disaster. So make sure you get it nice and thin. What? Your knife skills are like Claire, so you think it's impossible? Then bring a mandolin slicer. That will be much better for your inner piece. This time, mushroom. Take 3 button mushrooms and thinly slice them. Actually, these are optional too. But if you're making this for someone special, not just for weeknight dinner, then these bad boys must go in. Trust me, they're gonna take it to the next level. Once that's done, finally chop 2 cloves of garlic and a small knob of ginger. If you wanna use a grater, that's totally fine. I'm just doing this because I wanna look cool. But don't even think about skipping them because these bad boys will bring amazing flavor and fragrance to your yaki udon. Just like Tokyo Treat and Sakuraku bring joy to your doorstep. Tokyo Treat is a monthly snack subscription box straight from Japan. It's filled with up to 20 of the latest and most exclusive snacks that are only available in Japan. For example, if you open the box, you can see some limited edition or seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. And this month's theme is Akiba Adventure, where you can get these autumn chestnut keycats and mystery flavor Fanta. You're looking for some traditional snacks? Don't worry about it. With Sakurako, you will get local and authentic Japanese snacks from artisan snack makers, including Japanese tea and one special Japanese tableware. And this month's theme is Colors of Koyu, where you will find autumnal sweets like the honey apple karinto and the maple leaf monju. What? You're kind of worried about getting local snacks because of the language, ingredients, or allergens? Don't worry about it. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako provide a booklet in the box. It contains all the information about the snacks, snake makers, and even interesting cultural stories about Japan. If you're interested in getting one of these, go to the link in my description and use my code ANC. You will get $5 off your first order. You want to experience real Japan? Wherever you are, Tokyo Treat and Sakuraku will be with you. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Tokyo Treat and Sakuraku. This time, let's chop some green onions. Unfortunately, it's for garnish today, so you don't need a lot. But as always, let's be generous with this. Remember, more green onion, more delicious. Now for the protein, take 200 grams of thinly sliced pork belly and cut it into nice bite-sized pieces. What? It's hard to get this? Don't worry about it. You can use bacon. No problem at all. What? You don't like bacon? Then just use what you have, like chicken, beef, shrimp, or tofu. Our beautiful yaki udon sauce will take care of everything. In a small container, add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of ketchup, 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a pinch of MSG, totally optional, and give it a good mix until the sugar is dissolved. That's it, couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, everything is ready to go. Let's get cooking. Bring a pot of water to a boil. And once it starts to boil, add in your noodles and cook according to the package instructions. 
For information, I'm using Udo noodles, but you can use any kind of noodles you have. Even spaghetti noodles work fantastic. When the noodles are cooked, take them out and set them aside. Now, in a large pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. But if you happen to have lard like me, bring this bad boy over here. Trust me, they'll be more flavorful. Once the pan is nice and hot, add the pork belly and cook for about 1-2 to two minutes or until no longer pink. Now, throw in some garlic, ginger, and saute for 30 seconds. Once you can smell the amazing aroma, add all the veggies like onion, cabbage, carrot, and mushrooms and stir-fry them for about 2-3 to three minutes. When the veggies are cooked but still crunchy, add the drained noodles, sauce, and toss everything together for about 2-3 to three minutes. That's it, so simple right? As long as you've got all the ingredients, it'll be easier than instant ramen. Once the noodles are beautifully glazed and nicely coated, remove it from the heat and transfer it to a serving plate. Now all you gotta do is sprinkle on some green onions and add a little bit of pickled ginger on top. How does it look? Can you believe this beautiful dish is made within 15 minutes? I don't think so. Alright, let's go to our taste tester. Claire? Ooh, you made a beautiful flower up there. So gorgeous. Let's dig in. <laughs> 이건 너무 유명한 음식이라 내가 굳이 설명할 필요는 없을 것 같아. 그냥 먹어보자고. <웃음> Again, nice and chewy noodles. It's coated perfectly with the sauce. Cheers! 음, 음, 음. 뭐야? 음? 순수한 맛이네 엄청. 음, oh my god. 일단 항상 말하는 거지만 이 nice and chewy 노래, 이 두꺼운 우동이 주는 그 식감이 이제 입안 한 가득 들어오는 게 진짜 최고로 맛있고 돼지고기에서 나오는 그 지방이랑 소스가 만나서 정말 맛있게 그 맛을 만들어 냈는데 차칫하면 약간 그 느끼할 수 있는 그 부분을 약간 그 신맛이 확잘 잡아주는 것 같아. 그래서 느끼하지 않게 이렇게 뭔가 맛을 계속 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 막 입에 넣고 싶게 만드는 그 역할을 얘가 해주네. 맛있네. 아, 그리고 여기 중간 중간에 생강이 느껴지는 게 그것도 예술이다. 또 다른 한 단계로 업그레이드 시켜주는 그런 녀석인 것 같아. <웃음> so many good things here. I just love all the textures and flavors in here. I love it. You guys should give it a try. <웃음> 어? 근데 자기 원래 맨날 야키소바 이거 만들어줄 때마다 위에 갓소부시 뿌려가지고 잔뜩 뿌려가지고 맨날 줬었잖아 오늘은 왜 없어? Here's my pro tip If you add some bonito flakes and cupid mayo on top They are gonna take it to the another level Trust me, so good <웃음> 가져와 진짜로 말만 하지 말고 가져와 호두야 <laughs> what do? Today, I showed you how to make yaki udon, one of the most lovable Japanese dishes of all time. How was it? It's really simple, right? If you're hungry but not sure what to have, just invest 15 minutes on this. If you do, it will become your favorite lunch, dinner, or even late night snack. I guarantee it. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.